Hey, what's going on guys? My name is North and welcome back to Northdom in Kingdoms and Castles. So, the last time we ended this off, I literally cannot remember, it's been such a hot minute. But no, I think what we did was we built a lot of Scrooge McDuck houses right over here. I'm pretty sure we had a plague wipe through the land, which, you know, that's never bueno. But, we do have a lot of stuff going for us. We're building our castle ever so slightly. Um, we, oh, also, I believe we also had dragon and viking attacks, which was, you know, at the same time, it was not so tough. I think the dragon, it just effed up my farms, which was, you know, a pretty rude dude for doing so. But you know what? We're back at it. We're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, what are we going to do today? We're probably going to make even more houses. I think, oh, never mind. We have 222 beds and we have 171 people. Also, we became a burgeoning town. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road and see what occurs. So one thing that I'm really scared about in this game is having a second settlement. That scares me because like, you know, I don't know how to deal with two things at once. You st you've seen me up so far try and make a single civilization. So it's pretty, it's pretty mind flooding to me the whole entire aspect of making two. So, as of right now, it seems pretty fine. We fixed the food problem that we had going on. We're also collecting taxes out the wazoo. Like, 77. 69 happiness. Magical number. Um, one other thing that I really don't know much about is a... Raising an army. Do I have a... Uh, what, what, what is that room called? Hold on, I have to take a gander around. There's like a room. Also, I love the little courtyard in the, uh, castle. You know, you're just running around, little kids running around here. You know, maybe you got a child that's like, Oh, Dad, I want to be a, I want to be a, a baker when I grow up. And the dad's like, Ho, 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 no, you're gonna rule over a kingdom that's gonna, you know, take over lands and you'll be the next Genghis Khan. Um, uh, but no. Uh, I'm looking for, let's see if I can find it in here, a chamber of war. How do I not have one of these already? Am I losing my mind? And don't answer that. Um, where should we build this? I feel like we should build it very close. And probably even destroy some of these walls and add it inside the keep. Because, you know, it looks like something you'd find in a castle keep. So we're probably going to do that. So let's go ahead and take our uh, deconstruction tool. Smash these walls. And then we're going to go back here. Bippity boppity bam. Get that going. I think that. Hold up. Hold up. Have, have, did anyone see this? Why did uh why did this change shape? Whatever I placed that next to it. Yo, we're gonna try this for science. Demolish. Didn't work. For some reason. You know, we got rid of that courtyard, little Tommy is not going to be running around in wanting to conquer the world. But we do have a chamber of war, which probably will help little Tommy out in his endeavors. Then we're going to go over here to uh, Stone Road, make sure that's all solid and nice. Build as much as we can out. Also, we're out of money, rest in peace. And make sure we get that all built back. Alright, cool. We did a little remodification of the keep and it is expanding. Also, another thing is probably expanding walls to encompass the entire kingdom. Which we will do at some point. We still got people in the field. My man, Mlatin. Sounds like something you do whenever you, uh, what is it, the Mlim? Like cat Mlim. Really, I think there is a funny word with cats. It's maybe it was mewing. No, mewing is whenever. Oh my god, someone caught their house on fire. Uh, mewing is whenever you. I I don't know. That's a weird thing, by the way. Is uh, it's apparently a popular thing to do. And what you do is you have your tongue in a proper posture, and what it's supposed to do is improve your facial structure. Um, I believe I've been doing that my whole life because I just always look like I'm concerned, but you know, so it comes natural to me, 
but apparently a lot of people have to practice uh, how to get that going. So what we're going to do is, why are you open, BT Dubs? We need to close you down. Because while I love my soldiers, I also don't like paying them. <laughs> uh, don't touch on that topic. Um, We're going to throw some walls right up there, and we're going to make sure we get this as tall as possible. You know what? You're right. I hear you in the comments. I hear you in the uh, your mind. Is Why don't I just make this like three towers high? You know what? Why don't I make a second tier of the castle? You know? That's a good question. I probably should not because, you know, it's probably not a good idea. But when has that ever stopped me? I'll tell you many times. Sire, what happened to all the stone? Um. Um. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Guy passes him with like a pallet of stones on his shoulder. Oh, hey, Bob. It sees him walking towards the castle. Oh, my God, a plague. F and chat for all the people in town, by the way. That are getting hit with the uh, black death. I'm kidding. I think they're being taken care of. Nope, they're dead. Pretty sure they're dead. I don't know. Is my hospital open? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, that's a big ooch. Huh. Um. Hold on. Everyone filter back to your jobs. Get back to your jobs, everyone, because... You know, we'll we'll do the building, but we don't need that many people. Can we just get, like, Jebediah to throw stones up to my mans? Um, why is it 138? Can someone explain or rue that to me? Oh, probably because of this as well. Do we really need to talk to the merchant? I mean, all I ever do is sell him wood. That's all I've ever done. Maybe later on in the game, he'll give me something I really want. But right now, my man's useless. So the Black Plague is gone. Uh, I'm pretty sure no one died. Yeah, no one died. Nine people found a satisfactory home. Let's not... Let's ignore that message up there. And not... Focus on the negative. Let's focus on the positive. We're getting a second level to our castle. I'm kind of like a king sitting in my tower. Just like, mm, everything's wonderful in the kingdom. And then you just see like a flaming house outside the window and everyone's running back and forth like oh god and i'm just like ah, sipping my tea yeah that's me uh also 39 happiness um let's drop taxes maybe if we stop taxing them or not taxing as much one peasant left the kingdom hold on hold on i know who it was it was janice because she she was bound to leave at some point, so let's not act like it was a complete loss, alright? Maybe they just didn't have the strength to stay. And you know what? That's respectable. Some people have their own decisions. Uh, do I respect it? No. But she can do whatever she wants. I know she's been eyeing the kingdom next door. She's been eyeing it for like her whole entire stay here, and frankly, I don't blame her. So... With that being said, we're going to throw up another piece of wall right here so we can add towers. I can't wait until I can have spires. Just imagine. I, I went to Germany, to Bavaria, and saw Schloss Neuschwanstein. Shout out to all my German viewers. They, uh, I went to Bavaria and saw this castle, and it had these... It's actually the castle that... The Disney castle was modeled after and i it blew my mind seeing it we also went to what's called Marienbrücke, i think is what it's called it's like a bridge also i speak german with a rolled r um but yes we went to Marienbrücke, and that was a overview of the entire castle itself and in, it's an insane uh look and the way it's built on the hill is just amazing especially with the lake behind it and i think that's really what inspires me to have a lake or any body of water behind my castle either that or i just can't get enough of water 
So it's looking good. So I don't know why we would have stairs going up into the wall. That's one thing I don't understand. Maybe that goes along with the military aspect of the entire game. Also, I'm pretty sure... No, our food's doing fine. I thought everything would be suffering since like 144 people started building. I think that was a little overkill, but we'll just ignore it for now. So yes, we have our second level of walls. Probably very unnecessary, but it has been done. Now, I don't know how to build a... Whatchamacallit? A, an army. So I'm going to have to get that settled. Let's see. Hazard pay costs 50 to start up. All military forces inflict double damage for four times upkeep cost. Okay. When this gets built, it's also getting shut down. Also, we need ballistas, which we can get. So we're probably going to take an L on the archer towers. Or... No, I think the... Archers can go in the back, so yes, we're going to say no and no to you, and then we're going to make the ballistas in the front. I think that'll be a lot more powerful. And we're going to throw the archers on the back. Correct mundo, my dude. Beautiful. So let's see. Job priority. We got 20. That's a reasonable choice. Whenever I clicked on the job priority, I saw that it was... 140 something I was like Jesus I'm pretty sure that's overkill I'm pretty sure you don't need that many <laughs> I one of my friends he mentioned how he was impressed that I could crack my voice so much and I was like I don't think it's impressive <laughs> I'm like I find it horrible but you know, sometimes, for comedic purposes, it's amazing. So anyways, also in news, it's been a wild week for me. I just got back from Atlanta, traveling there and back. Uh, also, 12 people found a satisfactory home, clap and chat. Um, and it's been wild. I went to uh, Terminus, CMF Terminus, and it was great. Got to see a lot of uh, people, make connections, see a lot of awesome people. Also, pause right on the... Uh, lightning strike there but it was great uh, it was a film thing and I think it's it was a really good experience in my opinion um, so yeah I'm back and also trying to get back into the swing of things really I've been trying to record for the last two days and it's just not been going my way like every time I sat down to record it was no bueno I even tried to record underlords and I just could not do it captain I just could not also, let me know if you're watching, let me know what you think about starting a series on, uh, what is it, Planet Coaster. Oh, I know, I, I'm probably not going to get Planet Coaster, because I'm probably going to save up for Planet Zoo, which is supposed to be coming out, I don't think it's in July, maybe it's September, but it's supposed to be good. Now we're going to close down all of this that we do not need to have up. 50 gold is amazing. Uh, you're still building. Uh, but no, it was, um, I, I'll, I'll be a little bit, I, this, after this story, I'll probably end up, uh, stopping the, uh, whatchamacallit, the episode after that, but going to, uh, Terminus and meeting all these people and doing all these, uh, seeing all these people, uh, it really shed light on who I am as a person and really how I act and how YouTube and Twitch have been helping me tremendously with my social life. I know it seems kind of strange that, you know, oh, good day. Thank you. Sire, Vikings are attacking. What? Hold on. Maybe coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I just built a second tier. Don't worry. I got you, baby boo. So anyways, uh, I think Twitch and YouTube are helping me out in my ability to speak, speaking a lot more on a daily basis and even to amazing people and getting these topics. It's helping me jump from topic to topic and keep a conversation going when in the last, you know, in my past, I've never been the best at keeping a conversation going and being interesting in a conversation. 
and definitely this is helping out tremendously with that because you know it was just amazing to be able to meet so many people and not only meet them but also have amazing conversations with them so i really enjoyed it and it's definitely a huge shout out to you guys a hundred percent so you know what for that we're gonna throw you a festival everyone gets a festival everyone's happy you got a clown doing the good old balloon animal making and i think this is a really slow episode it's really me getting back into the game um also not knowing exactly where i want to go um chamber of war we did get that made i don't know exactly how i'm going to go about making an army we'll have to see how that happens i'll probably do a bit of reading up on how it's done maybe watch a youtube video on it but uh yeah i believe that should do it this may be an extremely short episode i don't know hopefully it's around the 20 minute mark somehow by a miracle i usually hit it around the 20 minute mark but if you watch thank you guys so much for watching it really means a lot and if uh you are able to check me out at twitch.tv slash gone north follow me on all the social medias which are down in the description and i will see you guys in the next one stay awesome